Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Are you guys ready to get our day started? We are going to go ahead and we're going to start with our calendar. Do you notice anything different about our calendar? All of our bunny rabbits are gone and now we have butterflies because we're starting a new month. Last month was April and this month is May. May. So, oh, this is going to be so easy, friends. All right. So, today is this number. What number is this, friends? It's the number five. Can you show me five fingers? Five fingers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, today, since we got five, we're going to stand up. We're going to stretch it out. And as I'm counting, you guys are going to do some jumping. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? That was way too easy. Let's do some jumping again. Maybe this time you spin in a circle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Awesome. Okay. And let's look outside today. And it is that beautiful sun right now is shining. Let's hope it stays that way. So let's get our sunny up here. Today's weather is sunny. And then we got to put a sunny up on our board for today. Here it is. So for our weather chart, we're going to put for Tuesday, today is sunny. Okay. All right. So remember yesterday, we, we talked about um, the things that we're going to be, I showed you the things that we're going to be talking about today. And do you remember what they were? I'm going to show you a picture. It's our theme. Remember, they were insects. Lots of different insects. And insect starts with the letter I. Eh, eh, insect. And on Thursday, I'm going to have some different items in here that begin with the letter I. But today, I filled it with all different kinds of insects we were talking about yesterday. So we have insects. And then, since it's a new month, we're going to start our new number. We've been talking about the number nine. Friends, what number is this? It's the number 10. That is right. So let's put the number 10 up there. And later we're going to do an exercise with the number 10. It should have been in your packet, so I'll tell you about it in a little bit. Okay, let's look at our insects. Let's see what kind of insects we have. Oh, here we have this. Let's look at him. He's a beetle. And we have a stink bug. Stink bug, a beetle. And do you remember what this one is? He's an ant. And then we have this guy. Now he's not a grasshopper because he's not green. Do you know what he is? He's a cricket. Cricket. And then we have him. Remember, he's a very special insect. We can't touch him because we can't hurt him. He's a praying mantis. And then we have, ooh, we got this guy. I think he's a cricket too. And then we have, Ooh, we got a bee. We're going to talk about bees later this week. And then last but not least, oh, we have him. He is a really cool, do you know what he is? He's a dragonfly. And one more. We have a fly. He's not very friendly looking, is he? So we have all these insects, okay? And when we 
talk about insects, insects have certain things. Let's see if I can find our paper. Here we go. This is what we want. So let's look at our insects. We talk about the parts of an insect. And you have a paper like this in your packet, which you will be able to complete on your own. I need to find here, right here, that you have, okay? So, it's talking about different insects. And insects have some same body parts. They have legs, and they have antennas, they have mouths, and of course they have eyes too. But the thing about um, insects is that most insects have six legs. So let's count how many legs are on this insect. One, two, three, four, five, six. He has six. Let's see, and let's pick another one. Oh, how about our V? He has one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six legs too. We'll pick one more to count. Hmm. How about our ant? Because we see a lot of ants right now. Let's see. Oops. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. And we talked about antennas. They have to use their antennas. They help them feel things out and um, smell things. So let's see, hmm, we will do, oh, a praying mantis. Let's see how many he has. He has one, two. He has two antennas. How about, let's look at a dragonfly. Dragonfly has antennas, but they're really small. They're right here on the top of his head. One, two. And how about we choose our fly? Our fly has two antennas too. Look, one, two. Okay? So, an insect has six legs and two antennas. And then a spider. I don't have a spider with me right now. We're going to be talking about spiders in a little bit. But spiders have eight legs. And here's a spider right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight legs. And he also has two antennas. Oh, he doesn't have any antennas. And then our centipede is another insect that we see. And in, a centipede has many, many legs. I mean, this is a lot of legs. So let's go ahead and let's count how many legs he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. He's got 26 legs. So you can have a paper just like this in your packet, and I've already completed mine, but it says add six legs and two antennas to the insects. Add eight legs to the spider and as many legs to the centipede. So all you have to do is take your crayon or a marker or a pencil, and you just want to trace over those dotted lines to make uh, the legs and the antennas. Okay. Awesome. All right. So today we're going to read a book. It's called In the Tall, Tall Grass. Okay. Now, when you look at grass outside, what do you think you see? What could be in the grass out there? Or near, maybe not actually in the grass, but near the grass. Let's see. What could be, oh, do you remember what this is? A caterpillar. We see caterpillars in the grass. Hmm. Oh, sometimes we see bees flying around the grass, especially if there's beautiful flowers near them. Oh, how about this? Remember we talked about these guys? Birds, yeah, we see birds in the grass. Do you know what sometimes they're looking for in the grass? What do they like to eat? Worms, yeah, sometimes they're in the grass trying to find worms. Oh, and we have two tiny ants. Yep, and they're trying to eat some grass or some leaves. Mm. Oh, here are these guys. These are beetles and we see beetles in the grass too. 
Oh, here's one. Have you guys ever seen a snake in the grass? I haven't seen one yet this year in my garden, but my, when I, my mom said she had one yesterday in her garage. Sometimes you might have them in your garage too. And then of course, oh, we're seeing lots of these. What are these, friends? They're bunnies. We see them hopping around in the grass. And, oh, what are these? Frogs. Now, I haven't seen any toads or frogs yet, but I'm sure a lot of you probably have. We see them sometimes hopping around in the grass. And then, oh, I love these. These are hummingbirds. I haven't seen a hummingbird yet. I don't think it's warm enough, but we see those a lot, especially in a hot summer. And then, who knows what this is? <gasps> These are called moles, and they like to dig under the ground for fun. Yep, they like to do a lot of digging. So these are some things that you see in the grass or around the grass. And you know what, there might be other things that you've seen outside in your yard in the grass. So if you could maybe draw a picture of it, or um, tell us on your Padlet of something that you've seen around in your grass. Okay, so let's go ahead and read. We're going to read in the tall, tall grass. Maybe there's some different insects or animals in the book that we may see in the tall, tall grass. Oh, you know what? I just thought of one. Ah, uh, we have a fox. And for the past two mornings, he's been running, she's been running in the grass trying to find some food. Okay, so here we go. In the tall, tall grass, Crunch, crunch, munch, caterpillars. They're having lunch. Oh, and also in the tall, tall grass, there's dart and dip. Hummingbirds sip. They eat the nectar out of the flowers. That's why they have their long beak. I think we talked about that during birds. Okay. In the tall, tall grass, there's strum, drum, bees hum. Look at all the bees. Bzzz. On Thursday, we're going to talk a lot more about bees. Ooh, in the tall, tall grass, crack, snap, wings flap. There's our bird coming in for some food. In the tall, tall grass, Oh, tug, ants love. What do ants love? What do they like to carry? They like to carry food, right? They take it back <clears throat> to all to their ant farm. All right, let's see what we got here. What do you think's gonna come up next? Remember, in the tall, tall grass, slip, slide, snakes glide. When we talk about snakes, we talk about the letter S, snake. In the tall, tall grass, rich, ratch, mole, scratch. Look, there they are. They're underground, digging in the tunnels. In the tall, tall grass, skitter, scurry, beetles, hurry. There they are. They're climbing up on the tall, tall grass. In the tall, tall grass, zip. Zap, tongue snap. <gasps> Why are their tongues snapping? Why do frogs have these long tongues? What are they trying to eat? <gasps> They're trying to eat the flies. Frogs like to eat insects. We're going to talk about them too. God, May, we have so many cool things we're going to be talking about. And in the tall, tall grass, hip, hop, ears flop. All the bunnies are out. In the tall, tall grass, stop, go, fireflies grow, glow. Yes, soon, in about a month, we're going to see lots of fireflies outside. Oh, ooh, here's another one. These guys like to eat insects, too. In the tall, tall grass, oh, lunge, loop, that swoop. They swoop down to eat some insects. 
in the tall, tall grass, stars bright, moonlight. There's a little caterpillar right there. Good night, tall, tall grass. Okay. All right, so in your little packet, I had put some things in there for you all ready to do. I had, did anybody do their scavenger, a bug scavenger hunt this weekend? I haven't done mine, but I'll definitely do mine today when I go out and work in my garden. You have your bugs and more bugs to finish. Okay. Oh, and then I put lots of fine motor stuff in there. All right. So look, this is trace the pattern. So we're going to trace the pattern. Remember, you're going to use your um, bur your bird beak for, um, when you're holding your pencil or your pen to hold it the correct way or crayon. And you're going to trace and go along the dotted lines. And then I did this one. This one's follow the lines and color of the insects. So look at the insects we have. We have a butterfly. We have an ant. We have a fly. We have a bee. And that looks like that's a dragonfly maybe, or maybe a hummingbird, or maybe a dragonfly. And then we have a spider, okay? I also put in there a really pretty um, picture for you to color. And Mother's Day is coming up. And if we were at school, we would be doing this week lots of different Mother's Day crafts. But since we can't do that, I put this pretty picture. It's a flower and it says mom inside. So your job this week is you have to color this and give it to mom and wish her a happy Mother's Day. That's coming up. I'm sure you'll be talking about that more with your family. Okay. And this has been so nice. I haven't seen many journal pa po uh, pages posted lately. And I know we've been outside a lot, so it'd be great if you could get outside because I know that makes everybody feel happy. Um, and maybe um, color a picture of yourself outside of something you're doing. I know a lot of you guys are riding bikes and scooters, um, playing with sidewalk chalk. So that'd be great. Or planting flowers. I know a lot of us are planting flowers, so that would be great to see that too. Okay. All right, I'm going to post um, something else on counting what to number 10, okay? So check that one out too. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.